वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट वन ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ द इंग्लिश नॉवल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फैशनेबल नॉवल विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सिल्वर फोक नॉवल इट डिपिक्ट्स और प्रेजेंट्स द मैनर्स एटिकेट्स एंड लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ द वेल्दी क्लास of victorian age it also indicates the development of the british isles in the arena of commerce and industry i have covered some important novelists like theodore hook benjamin disraeli Edward Bulwer Lytton, Susan Ferrier, Mrs. Catherine Gore, and the other major novelists who wrote fashionable novels. I have already produced many videos on the English novel, detective novel, the Newgate novel, sensation novel, Bildung's Roman. campus novel thesis novel regional novel historical novel and the other important forms of english novel you can watch all those videos if you visit my channel i don't want to waste your time if you really find this video important do like and subscribe literature guide let's dive into the video and enjoy the video fashionable novel the fashionable novel emerged in the first quarter of the 19th century it has also been known as silver fork novel the fashionable novel reflected lifestyle manners etiquettes and clothing of the rich and upper middle class society the term silver fork has been employed mockingly by critics some renowned novelists have focused the hypocrisy snobbery and affectation of the upper strata of society william hazlitt criticized the superficiality of fashionable novels in his essay the dandy school in the examiner in 1827 He thought that the fashionable novel makes the readers admire the folly, insolence, and affectation of the upper strata of society. The fashionable novels also commented on the marital relationship of people. Thomas Carlyle wrote a critique of the fashionable novels in his famous work Sartoris Artius which describes the fashions of clothing. William Makepeace Thackeray satirized the fashionable novel in his novels Vanity Fair and Pendennis. The fashionable novel was in vogue from 1820 to 1840. The Silver Fork novels have been written with a purpose of social reform and they have depicted the life of people in realistic manner with irony. Theodore Hook, the satirist, poet, dramatist, and novelist was well acquainted with the life of the upper strata of society. He depicted the manners, etiquettes and lifestyle of the upper class of society through his novels. Theodore Hook produced novels such as Sayings and Doings in 1824, Maxwell in 1830, Gilbert Gurney in 1836, and Jack Bragg. His novel Gurney Married is also a fashionable novel which was published in 1838. Susan Ferrier produced her three major fashionable novels which depicted the aristocratic Scottish life. Her novel Marriage appeared in 1818. It deals with the story of Juliana who elopes with Henry Douglas. She has romantic notions of life but all her romantic views are shattered to pieces when she confronts reality. She gives birth to twin daughters, Mary and Adelaide. Mary dislikes her mother's choice of a wealthy husband and she settles in Scotland. Mary's sister Adelaide marries a wealthy duke who is much older than her. Owing to discontentment and unhappiness, Adelaide elopes with a man who is indifferent and ruthless. 
Susan Ferrier has depicted the life of fashionable society with lack of contentment and happiness. The novel Marriage is written with didactic purpose. Susan Ferrier's Silver Fork novel The Inheritance appeared in 1824. It presents the story of Gertrude St. Clair. Gertrude goes through hardships when she loses her title and fortunes. She is a daughter of a maidservant but she is adopted by Mrs. St. Clair. Gertrude is already betrothed to Colonel Delmore. He abandons Gertrude when he comes to know about her birth. Susan Ferrier has focused the hypocrisy and falsehood of the upper-class society where human relationships have no value. In the end, Gertrude marries her faithful and kind-hearted cousin Edward Lindsay. Like Theodore Hook, Robert Plume Award has also published a few Silver Fork novels. His novels are primarily concerned with legal and political matters. Tremaine or a Man of Refinement is his famous fashionable novel which is written with didactic intent. It was published in 1825. It is interesting to note that Robert Plume Award displayed his mastery in philosophy teaching by examples through his novels. He also tried to raise the standards of public and private morality during the period of dissolution. Robert Plume Award's other famous novels are De Vere or The Man of Independence published in 1827, and De Clifford or The Constant Man in 1841. Mrs. Catherine Gore was famous for her Silver Fork novels. They present realistic picture of the lives of the wealthy and fashionable people. A majority of Catherine Gore's novels are fashionable novels. She produced the novels such as Mothers and Daughters in 1830. Her other famous fashionable novels are Mrs. Armitage or Female Domination in 1836, Cecil or The Adventures of a Coxcomb in 1841, and The Banker's Wife or Court and City in 1843. Benjamin Disraeli's famous fashionable novel Vivian Grey appeared in 1826. It influenced Edward Bulwallerton's Newgate novel Pelham. The novel, Vivian Grey is concerned with the story of a boy, Vivian who is rebellious by nature and expelled from school. He has keen interest in politics. He tries to make his own new political party. Vivian is challenged by his opponents Cleveland and Mrs. Lorraine. In a duel, Vivian kills Cleveland which spoils his life. Benjamin Disraeli has carved out many interesting characters based on real persons. The characters of Lord Alhambra represent Lord Byron, and the character of Cleveland is something of John Gibson Lockhart. Thomas Henry Lister produced a few fashionable novels such as Granby in 1826, Herbert Lacey in 1828, and Arlington in 1832. The novels depict the lifestyle aristocratic and upper middle class society. His novels are influenced by Jane Austen, and they are written in ironic vein. Edward Bulwer Lytton's famous novel Pelham or The Adventures of a Gentleman is a critique of fashionable novel. It was published in 1828. Though the novel is tagged as fashionable novel, its primary goal is to expose the falsehood, the hypocrisy, the arrogance and insolence of patrician life. Edward Bulwer Lytton has depicted the fashionable life of people in Pelham. The conversation of his worldly mother and Lord Vincent abounds with Latin phrases and terms. Edward Bulwer Lytton's novel Pelham is written with a purpose of social reform. It is written in the style of William Godwin. The novel Pelham is influenced by Benjamin Disraeli's famous novel Vivian Grey. Edward Bulwer Lytton's novel, Pelham belongs to the class of Newgate novel. Another famous novel of Susan Ferry and Amely, Destiny appeared in 1831. The novel has a complex plot. It is concerned with the Malcolm family. The novel presents the discontentment and unhappiness of Glenroy who marries a London-born lady Elizabeth Waldegrave. She leaves her husband because she finds life in Scotland dull, monotonous and intolerable. Benjamin Disraeli's Silver Fork novel Cohn Torini Fleming deals with the story of the development of a poet. The novel was influenced by Goethe's famous work Wilhelm Meister. The novel presents a Byronic hero. 
Conterini Fleming was published in 1832. It presents a story of Conterini, son of both Saxon and Venetian lineage. He is handsome and impulsive by nature. He runs away from school and goes to Venice. He is infatuated by the beauty of the city. In Venice, Conterini marries his cousin Alceste. But his marriage does not last long as Alceste dies within a year. Conterini is introduced to a high-class society where he finds some momentary joy. In the end Conterini decides to lead a solitary life in order to create something beautiful. Henrietta Temple is a fashionable novel of Benjamin Disraeli published in 1837. It deals with the experiences of the novelist in high-class society. The novel Henrietta Temple presents a love story of Henrietta Sykes and Benjamin Disraeli. Marie-Louise de la Rime has produced her fashionable novels such as Held in Bondage in 1863, Under Two Flags in 1867, and most famous novel Falfarine published in 1871. Her novels present fashionable world far removed from reality. Edward bulwer lytton praised her novel Falfarine. He deemed it a triumph of modern English fiction. Marie-Louise de la Rime wrote under the pseudonym of Ouida. Her novels are revolt against the moral ideals depicted in the fiction of the time. Thus, the fashionable novel reflected the manners, etiquettes, fashions and lifestyle of the wealthy people of the time. It also implied the transformation in the life of people during the Victorian age. The fashionable novel emphasized the need for social reform. How is the video? I hope you like the video. All these videos which I have produced, they are important from the examination point of view. The students who are pursuing competitive exams and the university exams can make use of all these videos. I will continue this series of English novel for you. I have to cover some topics on the English novel. I have already produced many videos on English poetry, drama and novels. You can watch all those videos by visiting my channel. If you really like my videos, do like and subscribe Literature Guide so that I will continue producing videos for you in future also. Your support and your views are important for this channel. What I find about my viewers is that the non-subscribers they visit my channel, they watch my videos but they do not like and subscribe my videos. I don't want to force them to push the like button or the dislike button or make them subscribe my channel. But what surprises me is that if they find information useful for them, what's wrong in pushing the like button for once or uh, pushing the subscribe button uh, if they find the information useful and important. So do like and subscribe Literature Guide. I will meet you soon with a new video on a new topic. Meet you. Please subscribe Literature Guide.